Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you're having a great day. I am back on Guitargate to see what my students have picked to come next on YouTube. So, Travis S. Wilson hits me with a little Leon Redbone, Shine on Harvest Moon. Travis says, one of the best of all time, yet one of the most underrated. Michael, you'd be remiss if you didn't do a react to Mr. Redbone. Here we go. This is for you, Travis. Thanks for being a member of Guitargate. Um, I do not believe I've ever reviewed Leon. This is ice cold, my friends. But just look at it. The night was mighty dark so you could hardly see Cause the moon refused to shine Oh, he's so cool. There's a couple sitting neath the willow tree Oh, love they pine. Little Mare was kind of afraid of darkness, so she said, I think I'll go. Oh, the boy began to sigh, looked up at the sky, and told the moon his little tale of woe. Shine. That uh, on the five. The moon is little tale of woe. Shine. This guy is so cool. I mean, I know I've seen him before, but it it it's been so long. I I just I can't name one of his songs. Um, this is such a treat. This is so up my alley. Um, this is standard tuning, okay? Tuned down to D. So this is D standard that he's in. I'm not gonna retune my guitar because again, when you learn the theory, uh, when you learn you know, how the chords connect around your neck, the actual key becomes pretty irrelevant. You're just thinking about changes. So I'll go through and outline these for you. So this is, everything is down two frets. You can think of it like this. So if you're in E standard, but then he's in D, all your E's become D's, all your A's become G's. So in this case, you see him do the A minor shape, right? But it sounds like G. So check it. The night was mighty dark, so you minor. could hardly see, cause the moon refused to shine. D7. There's a couple sitting So one to a five seven, one minor five seven. Love, now this is a weird one here. Love. love that run on. Dominant four chord, that C sharp, that C7. Now listen to the note that goes down. Does it do that? Yeah. So you got C7, then it looks like this bar. So maybe he does F7 over C. It's hard to see with his fingers, but it doesn't seem like the root changes. So. It doesn't sound quite right, but this, it's not that. Yeah, I think we're getting this little diminished triad here to this one. So functioning C7 to F7. Now I love this brighten up here. E flat. So E flat to B flat. Sorry. I love it. Relative major and minor. Again, we started in G minor. We're modulating to B flat. Relative major and minor. C7. That little move there, you're just moving the inversion over. 
same chord. And there's your D7 to pull back to G minor. Very cool. Oh yeah. go back. I was playing over it and screwing this whole thing up. Ain't no time to stay. I go to school. Shine on. Shine on August moon. Oh, yeah. I just, this is so cool. I just want to take a minute to point out the obvious. Learn solos that are not on guitar. There's so much in there. There's just, there's so much in this song to learn that. Like there's just, there's so many little things that, <clears throat> listen, I'll be honest. I've never really gotten into jazz. I don't really listen to it. I've never learned to play it well. I muscled through it for school, um, but really it just kind of went in one ear and one out the other. But like the older I'm getting, there are certain people that like they use just, just enough those little one and two note connectors that you just don't hear in traditional blues. You know, obviously not in like rock country playing. Um, that it's just like, it, but. Oftentimes, I, it, I don't appreciate it when it's on guitar, but when it's on another instrument, it just fits, right? Like, it's supposed to be, you know, coming out of brass, you know? Um, go back and learn this. Go back and learn, learn horn solos in songs that have horn solos that you love. That's what I'm trying to say. Instruments that can only play one note at a time, that don't have the luxury of playing multiple notes at a time, so playing true harmony, they can only do one note at a time, have to be so choosy in the notes that they play. They have to be so melody first. There's just so much to learn there. Shine on harvest moon, oh, he's so cool. Leaning right in the microphone. No time, ain't no time to stay. Your doors are screwed. Shine up, shine on harvest moon. Come here, my girl.
Look at him. Hard to imagine someone much cooler than that. Okay. Chromatic runs. Got a lot of the voice leading picking to end the song, and you just basically your head doesn't move. You're just doing it, and then it's just done. It's so cool. It's just so cool. Let me see. There's a couple licks in here. I love the like just all triplets. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Just like, just I love that approach. Like that rub up 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 bong When you do that again, think like a drummer. Think where something fits. If you just do this, right? It, there's not like a tag on it, but you know, right? Rub up 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 bong That little tag, like there's all that build up is what makes that tag work. It's so simple and so useful. Little sweep here. I love that. Shooting for the nine to the fifth. Root nine, root fifth. Super staccato on those chord tones. There's a double pick. Okay. Who sent me this again? Travis Wilson. Travis, this was awesome. Um, the key takeaway is he's just as cool as they come. That's really it. Uh, Harmony-wise, um, you know, G minor and then B flat major. You're going back and forth between your relative majors and minors with a lot of functioning and non-functioning seventh chords. So again, I'm not much of a jazz player, so I'm kind of just like school, just kind of muscling through this. But you know, when when you have a D7 that resolves to G major or minor, it's functioning. It's five to one. Okay. When you have your C7 that resolves to F7 or F major, F minor, whatever it is, that's that's functioning. It's resolving five to one. But then this F7, right? This goes to E flat major. So that's non-functioning. It's it's a standard move, if you will. Like I'm familiar with that sound, but it's not a 5-1 cadence. So what I'm trying to say is um, there's, there's just a bunch of those in there. So keep an eye out or an ear out for those. Um, when you're going to take leads over them, again, you would be, I would behoove you to at least start, like, like maybe you start by outlining the roots, but try to hit the note that changes. So while the third creates the function, and that's the most important one, right? There's all these little that you hear him get. Like when that set, when that root becomes a flat seven, there's a bunch of little things in there. Um, lastly, I'll just say this: uh, great band, great, great band, and that horn solo was just fantastic. I implore all of you. I'm telling me too. I'm going to go back and do it when I'm not on camera. Try to learn the notes of horn players, sax reed players, sax but doesn't whatever it is single note players that can't play chords. They have such an incredible sense of melody that us as, that we as guitar players just seem to miss a lot. I know I'm certainly guilty of being 
rhythm and harmony first and melody last. I'm trying to change that like so many things in my life. And uh, I would invite you to try to do the same too. And learning, learning horn parts, learning reed parts, learning, you know, anything that's not the guitar will help you do that, especially if it's just one note at a time. That's it, my friends. I love you so much. If you dig the vibe here, please hit subscribe. You probably don't know this, but it doesn't matter what channel you watch, usually 80% of YouTube viewers are not subscribed to the channels that they like and want to see more of. There's a button right around here. Just hit it. It's free, and it helps me and YouTube a great deal. Two, if you want to take guitar lessons from me, you're kinda, you like this vibe, um, and you want to pick what comes next on YouTube, you have a deep cut, you'd like to get a shout out on YouTube, um, that's like a thank you I do for my students. So if that's interesting to you, I'd love to be your online teacher. It's the first link in the description. It's called GuitarGate. You get all of my step-by-step -step courses from beginner to advanced, bunch of different genres, and it's a very, very colorful, flourishing community, and I guarantee you'll find new music uh, that you hadn't before and play things that you hadn't before. And that's what it's all about. Keep it in your hands, my friends. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. So cool. I want a hat.